Ooh, welcome back, everybody. Glad you're here. Um, wow. Video I posted last week, I, I got a suggestion from one of my subscribers to review um, Angelina Jordan. I put a spell on you. Never heard it before. Uh, I didn't remember who she was until I saw that she was on AGT, and I remember seeing something about that. Turns out she's not the girl I thought she was that I saw on AGT uh, because she won AGT in Norway when she was like seven and then she was on AGT champions in 2020. I don't know how she did. I haven't, I actually haven't looked that up. Um, but everybody that 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 saw the uh video that i did uh last week definitely had some comments on it i've gotten more reactions i think from that one video than any other video i've ever done maybe, maybe not not more views maybe not more comments just more faster like in one week just like almost twelve thousand views almost 300 comments and just overwhelmingly positive and just like oh look who you found yeah welcome to the real world of angelina jordan and now you need to check out all her other stuff and if you saw agt then you need to do bohemian rhapsody I'm like, i don't think i did so I, I looked it up i went and looked and saw her and i was like oh that's on champions i haven't i haven't seen agt in several years so i don't know um who won it or anything like that but the uh i went to her channel and found the one with bohemian rhapsody on it and so that's the one i'm going to be checking out today first of all i love that picture right there and um it's a short one only 228 which is probably the shortest version of bohemian rhapsody i've ever seen <laughs> i don't think that sounds like 20 minutes long but uh so we're gonna check this out and see how it is and i just want to thank all of y'all really from the bottom of my heart thank you so much for the reaction um she has a ton of fans and and you guys are great fans of hers and i really appreciated uh having the discussions with you and talking to you and you guys give me a bunch of her feedback i will say you guys did point out in the in the last video i asked if she was 10 or 12. she was nine when she did that video uh i can't i put a spell on you which is just crazy uh just nuts so here we're checking her out now so she's 17 now i believe she is and she did this in 2020 so and i think i heard that she was like 13 or 14 when she did this so it's a few years later um but yeah i uh yeah let's just let's just get into this i'm gonna start talking just okay here we go hey <laughs> you know how you can tell a good artist when they sing a cappella. That's how you know you're looking at listening to a great artist. Just when, when that voice can just do that with no accompaniment, with no nothing else clashing or, or going along with it nothing else helping it or performing it they're just there by themselves that's fantastic that's beautiful voice i love it too late my time has come since shivers down my spine body's aching all the time goodbye Everybody, I've got to go. Gotta leave you all behind and face the truth. Mama, I 
I mean, how do you describe that? Like she just, when, when Queen recorded this song, it was the most expensive song ever made because of the amount of tracks they had to put down in the studio. They only had eight tracks, 10 tracks. They were able to, to, which means you, you laid down a drum, you laid down a guitar, you laid down a bass, you laid down a vocal, you know, and then you, and you take all those four, five, six, seven, eight tracks, and then you put them onto a master track and that's your song. Queen had to record three, four, five, six, seven, eight tracks, combine them all together and then do two, three, four more and combine those together and do two, three more, more and combine those together. They ended up having like 25 tracks, 24 tracks. I don't know the exact number, but it was like the most expensive song ever made when they made that song because they have so many layers to that song. Everybody's familiar with that song, the way it changes beats, the way it changes tempos, the way it brings in the orchestration, the way it does this, the way it does that. She, <laughs> she's doing all this with her voice and just killing it. She doesn't need all the orchestration or the vocal effects or anything. She's just sitting here with and just and just and just giving you all the same vibes Queen does, with the exception of the headbang. Just emotionally, just with her voice, just those runs. Those, those peaks and valleys that she's doing, the, the long, you know, sustaining and then clipping it, just all these little natural things that she does with her voice. It's, it's unbelievable. Just unbelievable. Oh, I don't want to die. I sometimes wish I never been. That arrangement is phenomenal. I have never in my life heard Bohemian Rhapsody that way. I don't know if anybody else could even pull that off. I mean, that's just what a what a gift. What a gift. What a talent. What a it's just stupefying, you know, like I, I just want to like throw adjectives and stuff out. And it just, it just, I think, I think the biggest compliment I can give her is that I got every bit of emotion out of that two minute and 28 arrangement of Bohemian Rhapsody that Queen has been giving me with their epic for, oh, how long has that been around 50 years? It's just, it's, it's just amazing. Just so crazy, man. 40 years, not quite 50. All you Angelina Jolie fans, Angelina, I'm sorry, forgiveness. Angelina Jordan fans out there who suggested this, thank you. There are a ton of you in the, in the, in there. And, uh, uh other suggestions that you've made on her side, I did listen to Suspicious Minds. Um, and, and I kind of clicked on it and was listening to it and got through it and was like, oh yeah, I should have been recording this when I wasn't. 
So I'm glad I recorded this one because that just that that just floored me, man. It's just so great. What an awesome song. Thank you so much. I hope you liked this. If you did, please smash the like button. Uh, if you haven't subscribed, please do so. And most of all, please share this video with your friends and your neighbors, your complete strangers. And uh, most importantly, please leave me a comment and let me know what you thought. Any thoughts or suggestions. If you have other stuff you'd like for me to hear from her or from anybody else. Music I've never heard before. That's what I love to find. So in the meantime, please check out these other videos I've done. And I will catch y'all later. In the meantime, be good. I love you. See you next time.